Hey guys, my name is Cornell from Sense Squad, and today I'm going to show you how to overclock your GPU to get you the max FPS here. Now, this works in any game. This works for Call of Duty. This works for Battlefield. This works for Valorant. This works for Fortnite. It works in any game that you can possibly think of to get you the maximum FPS here. So, the first thing we're going to do is going to download MSI After, but I'm going to leave that link down below. And basically, I'm going to show you exactly step by step how to do it the easy way. Okay. Now, a lot of overclockers, they like to use benchmarks because they like to show you that they can get like the highest, like, you know, like scores possible on the benchmark. But you're a gamer, you're not an overclocker. You just want to have the best FPS possible. And the way to do that is to use your game as the benchmark because a lot of benchmarks allow you to go higher than your game can actually allow you to go. Like, for example, Call of Duty is very sensitive to overclock, so you want to make sure to not go too high, like if for, especially for Call of Duty, right? So the way that I do it, I like doing it the simple way. If you're a beginner, this is a beginner's guide, okay? So what you do is you're going to come over here to power limit and temp limit. You're just going to max those out, okay? And then you're going to go to check mark. Boom. First step. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to core clock, and you're going to click on this right here, that plus zero. You're going to type in 25 and then you're going to test that. You're going to press check mark. You're going to save it to one, right? Then you're going to test it in your game. Make sure that that's stable. Then you're going to do 50 check mark, save it to one. Boom. You're going to make sure that that's stable in game and you're going to go all the way up to whatever you can until your game crashes there. Now, when your game crashes, you're going to want to reduce the core clock buy that 25 there so like let's say your game crashes at 150 core clock right you're gonna put your core clock then at 125 right now mem clock i would actually do plus 50 right just because mem clock's a little less sensitive so mem clock can go all the way up to guys like 800 right i've seen core clocks go all the way up to 250 so you can actually run this and be perfectly okay and then if you're having trouble running this this is when you use a core voltage all the core voltage percentage does is tell the gpu hey you can use this much percentage of your maximum voltage because usually your computer doesn't allow like the maximum voltage for your gpu and if you allow that maximum voltage to be done, it's actually going to boost higher, right? So you're going to be able to run a higher overclock with that core voltage being high. So that's what you have to do when you press like plus 100 here and then you just press check mark. You're going to be able to run a higher overclock doing that. Now you just got to be careful because you want to make sure that these are stable. That's why I like doing it one at a time, guys just to make sure it's stable and then you should be okay now it's gonna take some time right if you don't want to take the time to do this you can always visit sensequality.com which is right here on this page but if you want to take the time to do this i promise you this is going to get you more fps here and this is the safe way to do it so that way you don't damage your like your pc components but if you want an expert you could always go to sensequality.com where we got you taken care of i hope this helps guys and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day don't forget to share this with a friend take care now